Hello folks, in this video we are going to talk about how to improve your assessment during an ophthalmologic exam or encounter. We all need to make an effort to improve our skills and be a better ophthalmologist. In this video I'm going to talk about three tips how to improve your care and your diagnose your management during an ophthalmology visit first never ignore patients complaint this is very important after you ask the usual question how can i help you or what brings you here you want to pay very careful attention to patients main complaint for example eye discomfort visual loss among others the whole encounter, the whole visit, you must remember that initial chief complaint because at the end of the encounter, you need to answer and explain why the patient had that complaint. Last week, just I had a young patient with pain for four days and she had an uveitis. If the patient has ocular discomfort, they may have ocular surface disease or any other condition that causes discomfort. Even if the patient has a visual loss and you find a visual acuity of 2020, there are conditions that cause visual loss even in the retina or optic nerve and the patient may have visual acuity of 2020. You may also want to ask additional complaints and search for explanations but keep in mind the main complaint is very important and you want to go in detail and ask details about that chief complaint. The second tip is be detailed. When you have a patient's visit in ophthalmology, you have a unique opportunity to investigate any condition in the eye. And you should try to perform as many steps of the ophthalmological exam as possible. Yeah, some things going on there. You may do motility, visual acuity, visual field confrontation, or any other more detail. You want to run some tests, refraction, dilated fundus exam, anterior beam microscopy, applanation, thermometry, and any test you find important to search for conditions during that encounter. The third tip is connect to the body it's very often that patients doing an ophthalmology visit have findings associated with systemic conditions for example infection from a uh, simple viral conjunctivitis that may be related with a systemic infection to syphilis or a uh, yeast or fungi neurological infection connected to an eye or retina problem. Inflammatory or autoimmune, patient may have scleritis or other condition like uveitis that may be associated with rheumatologic conditions. And you wanna ask the patient about joint pain and refer to a rheumatologist if needed. Other conditions may be associated with the eye like GI system, or even neoplasia, oncologic systems. Patients may have a fundus condition or surface, for example, some uh, colored lesion of the conjunctiva with lymphoma. So I, I hope these three tips help you to keep in mind how to be a better ophthalmologist. Never ignore the patient's complaint. Pay attention to the patient's complaint and always answer those complaints and try to find an explanation. Be detailed, perform as many as tests as you can. And finally, ask about systemic conditions. Ask about joint pain, about previous infections, use of medication and connect the eye to the whole body so you can improve your assessment and your management. I hope you like this short video with important tips. See you in the next video.